If you want to teach people a new way of thinking, don't try to teach them. Instead, give them a tool that leads to a new way of thinking. That was R. Buckminster Fuller, one of the most incredible thinkers of our time, and it hits very powerfully for us as coaches. One of the most powerful tools I've found that's had such an impact on my own life and that of my clients is called a What Scares Me list. My friend, Sean Stevenson, who is a man who's had to struggle with a lot of challenges in his life, who was born with brittle bone disease and only grew to three feet tall, is yet one of the most powerful men I know. He taught me this tool, a What Scares Me list. It's not complex and it's not easy. You sit down and make a list of all the things that scare you. And then one at a time, you begin to cross them off by stepping in towards those things that you're afraid of. One at a time, you make a list of the things that you have a deep fear about because the secret to this is underneath fear is desire. Fear is a mask for desire. So right now, don't wait. Grab a piece of paper, pull out your phone, and write, what scares me? And then one at a time, make a list of all the things that you're afraid of. So let me go. Let me make it as real as I can. What scares me? Well, I was talking to a friend the other day who's just started at INSEAD, one of the top business schools on the planet. And he said they have a coaching program here and you should be working with them. You should be coaching here. And immediately I heard him. I said, okay, and we, we, the conversation moved on. But fear came in my body. How could I be teaching at one of the leading business schools on the planet? But I know in this moment that there's a desire there. And my fears don't matter. When you work with high performers, their fears are a mask for desire. Find out what the desire is underneath the fear and you've got juice. You've got somewhere to take them. So for yourself, for your clients, what scares you? Make your list. And then one at a time, start looking at how you can begin to take tiny steps towards the things that used to make you afraid.